A Metro artist is creating a series of work inspired by his roots and life here in Iowa. And he hopes it will inspire the next generation. Cynthia Naranjo has his story for this week's Hispanic Heritage Month celebration. To be an artist, you have to go all in. Getting dirty, it really, I don't know, it just, it sparks a lot of, uh, it sparks a lot of memories, you know, working when I was younger with my father and just coming home dirty. I remember he used to tell me, you know, Jose, if you, if you want to, if you want to look like you were working, get dirty. Ceso Marentes has been an artist for many years. To me, the finished piece is great, but it's the, it's the process for me that really gets gets my senses really heightened and get and gets my uh, motivation to see it finished. His artwork reflects his own life experiences and his proud Mexican-American background. It inspired him to start his Iowa series. It isn't like your traditional Iowa paintings like cornfields or any Iowa staples. It's a self-discovery identity uh, just a belonging. Instead, his series include paintings of Mexican artist Frida Kahlo to Mexican singer Vicente Fernandez to classic Contiflas. His most special project this year was the painting of a childhood TV icon in many Latino households. Chapulín Colorado, the red grasshopper. And Chapulín represents a lot of love and, and strength. His inspiration came from an East High School student discussion. They wanted to feel more like a community. Shortly after, a tragic drive-by shooting took place outside of East High School. My idea of what I originally wanted to bring to East High School shifted. And I was like, you know what? No, these kids need hope. They need a hero. They need something to look forward to. So after that, I was like, no, these kids need a hero now. They need something to look up to. They need, they need to feel that security. And so that's how he kind of came out to be. This project helped bring the students together. And so Chapulín was a way to bring that community and kind of cement it with that love. When I created that, I didn't know how I was going to tie it all together with, with as many students that were participating. And so some East High School students and staff picked up a paintbrush and the healing process began. You can only get that magic from Chapulín is that once they started writing their names in the back of it, I made sure that they put a wish, and so it was capsulated now. So now their wishes are the universes, and so the universe grants them those wishes, great. Sesso continues to inspire the community through his paintings. Everything that I'm doing is very important. I want the younger generation to see what they could be doing. And through his own life experiences. I want to break that, that kink in the chain, fix it, and I'm here at Mainframe, and I know other Latinos can be at Mainframe. And where I go next, I know they can go next. And you can find more of Sesso's work and other local artists here at Mainframe Studios during First Fridays each month. For WHO 13 News, I'm Cynthia Naranjo. Good stuff, Cynthia. Thank you. Well, the painting that Morantes is uh, currently working on will be up for auction at the Latino Gala. You can check that out on October 27th at the Des Moines Heritage Center. You do need a ticket to get in. And uh, you can uh, see more uh, information on all of this by logging on to the website that's here on your screen. It's a, it's a long one, so check it out, humanrights.iowa.gov backslash Ola Center. Well, how cool that Seso used art as self-expression, yeah. but then he brought people together yeah. after that tragedy yeah. as well. Yeah, a little purpose behind that, mm -hmm. and that's uh, inspired many a great artist out yes. there. Back with a bus stop forecast from Megan.